So let's take a look at how you can get the list of files within a folder and export that list to CSV. So I have this folder where I have a bunch of MP3 files. I'm going to check this age of the file names and I'm going to export that list to a CSV file. Okay, so open Windows PowerShell, create one PowerShell file, and here, first thing to do is get child item. So click on get child item. Okay, next thing to do is check for the path. And as you can see, we have path here, music. Okay, so I'm going to get that. So T, then music. And here, I have to filter for the files, let's say, dot mp3. Okay, and then because for entire folder, or if there are any subfolder, and then I'm going to export this to CSV. And then I have to also give the path where I want to export this. So let's say D, then music dot let's say CSV. Also, I have to look for the encoding. Let's see ASCII then dash no type information okay you can also filter additional data for example if you don't want this title want to be asked artist album and then when this file was created and when modified or any other changes made to the file all that will be available in csv file you can reduce that to only the file name for that you have to change the code here Okay, so let's run this and see how it works. If it returns with blank prompt, then that means your CSV file is created with all the data from this folder. So let's go to the path D and here you have music CSV. Okay, so here you can see the file is opening in Excel. And you can see it shows the path for each file. Then you have the attributes, and then also the name of the file. Okay. Then time, length, directory, and other data. So as you can see, if you want, don't want this data, only want to keep the base name, you can filter that in your PowerShell script. Okay. That being said, this was a small demonstration on how to read a folder for files, make a list of it, and export that to CSV. We just check this in this video.